So here's a problem. I get this. This is on the homework now. I don't remember what number it is. This is, I get a lot of emails or questions about this homework problem. So a wrecking ball is suspended 6.5 meter on a 6.5 meter long cable that makes a 45 degree angle with the vertical. The ball is released and swings down. What is the ball's speed at the lowest point? Well, there's our picture. Some ball hanging out the end. 45 degrees with the vertical, and we know that it is 6.5 meters long. What else do we know? Nothing. We know no other numbers. How would we solve this problem? What idea, what, what concept are we going to grab onto to help us solve this problem? Momentum, one idea. How would we use momentum? Not sure, right? Conservation of energy, because what is this? What is this thing actually? It's just a pendulum, right? Something on the end, it's a pendulum. We already did some examples with pendulums where we could do, we did a conceptual example with it. We use conservation of energy. Energy initial equals energy final. All right, what is our initial energy state? It's all potential in the beginning, right? We assume it's not you know, we're not pushing at that thing, it's just starting at zero. So the initial energy is all just potential energy. There's no kinetic energy in the beginning. What is the final energy state and where is it? All kinetic. So it's kinetic is our final situation and it's when it's down here, right? At that point in time. So what is this? Well, this is mgh initial equals one half mv final squared. What do we notice? Life simplifies for us. What goes away? Mass goes away. But I got a problem. What do I know and not know in that formula? Let me rewrite it here. So I've got GH initial equals one half V final squared. Do I know H? I know G, that's 9.8. H, what's H? That's H, that height there. That is what the H is. B is unknown to me. That's what I'm ultimately looking for. So I need to find H. How do I find H? What actually is H? Why, why are we ignoring the ground height? Well, this is a pendulum, right? The pendulum's going to swing down and end up at that point. Yeah, that's the height that that thing changes, right? We don't care, just to be complete on my thought, we don't care about this height above the ground itself, right? It's just that difference in height that the pendulum goes through.
So there's 6.5 is this height here, right? When that pendulum, I, I know what you're saying. When that pendulum swings all the way down, it's going to be a full 6.5, right? And you put 6.5. So what is this height? What is this height here? Yeah, I know what you're headed to. I'm trying to slow you down and not do it all at once. We're going to bite, bite, bite. So, so this, this height here is going to be 6.5 minus h, right? See that? No, back up, back up. We are going to use that. This height here is 6.5 minus h, right? Now I have, if I look carefully, I have a triangle here, right? But I know the hypotenuse length. I know the angle. And effectively, I know the adjacent side. So I'm go to what you're saying. Cosine of 45 is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Well, the adjacent side is this stuff here. So that's going to be 6.5 minus h all over 6.5. Right? See that? And then I just grind that out. That'll give me H. And then I can plug it into there. Questions? Why do we use the difference in height? Well, this... This number here is, is this distance right here. That's all that distance there. But it involves the h that we know, right? Ultimately, it gives me that distance there. By using it in this formula, I can then get it out what is actual h. We assume the height is zero, exactly. We don't worry about how high above the ground is because the pendulum can't get any lower than that no matter what, right? So that becomes our zero point at the bottom. Questions? I'm not going to grind out the number. I don't know what the number is. <coughs> I'm going to leave that to you for your homework.